Hi there. In this video, we're going to explain the most important tool to leveling your jobs and obtaining some of the hardest mounts in game, the Wondrous Tales. First though, a gigantic shout out to Senjutsu for becoming a Patreon member, you rock, and thank you so much for your support on my channel. Now, the Wondrous Tales is a weekly log of dungeons and activities you can do to get stickers in order to turn in for prizes. This also gives you 50% of your experience bar. Now you unlock your wondrous tales by an NPC that will be located right here and it will be a blue unlock quest called Keeping Up with the Alipos. You can unlock this at level 60. Now when you unlock it, you'll be returning weekly to this vendor right here, Chloe Alipo? Alipo? I'm not sure. She will provide you with the wondrous tales each week. Now you can only hold one wondrous tales and they do not expire for two weeks from the week you picked it up. So I have picked one up on the week of the 19th of April, so it won't expire until the 3rd of May. Now, even though it doesn't expire for two weeks, you can turn these and get them done every week in order to maximize experience gaining, which you should be doing for big increases in experience gain. If we open the book, you see we have different duties that it asks us to complete. Now, you will want to complete these as much as possible just by natural means of playing the game and duty roulettes each week. You can easily get most of the top row done, which are dungeons at various levels. Once you finish and collect the sticker, it will turn dark. At lower halves, it splits into alliance raid, extreme trials, and some form of PvP. Now, luckily, we do not have to complete all these in the traditional sense to get a sticker. We have points down here to which you gain when doing dungeons with someone who is doing it for the first time. Now, that may not seem practical, but with 25 million people in the game, it's pretty common to almost always have someone new to the dungeon or on an alt character doing the dungeon for the first time. Now, we have 9 points total to which we can use for retry, which will open a previously finished duty. You'll also have reshuffle, to which will move the stickers around as long as you are between 3 and 7. Though we do not want to use these often as you'll want to be able to reshuffle as much as possible in order to maximize your chances of getting rewards. If you need to complete it in a pinch though for reset then you can use a retry point to finish it off but if you're farming it and maximizing chances then you'll want to complete all of it with little to no retry point usage. You get rewards by two ways, completing the wondrous tales, having all nine stickers, and trying to get up to one to three lines in a row. Now there is a specific strat that makes it possible to have between an 8 and 12% chance that I will make a quicker video for, so hit that like button if you want to see that. Now the rewards are really the reason we do this every single week obviously. We get 50% of our experience bar for that job that we are when we turn in this bad boy. Now this is a solid 50% so if you're level 20 you get half of your bar. If you're level 89 you get half of your bar. Because of this we want to turn this in on our highest job possible since XP just doesn't equate. Instead of 5,000 to 25,000 you can be getting 5 million at level 89. Of course, you can just use this on your main job if you just unlocked it playing through the MSQ or on your highest alt job. For completing the book with no lines, you get one of these three rewards here. Pick whatever you want because it depends on where you're at on the story. I myself just usually pick gold as I do not need poetics and the maps are selling really low right now. Now, here comes the fun part. If you happen to get one to three lines, you get to select another prize from these sections. Essentially, your goal is three lines to which I will break down that strat in the other video. But this is a good way to get other items pretty easily like endgame tombstones, MGP rewards, or the most valued item, the gold certificate of commendation, which can only be got for getting three lines in a row. Now, I have played this game for a few years and have only gotten it once, I was not farming or using this specific strat. I was more just randomly collecting things. Silver and bronze certificates of accommodation can be useful if you don't have any of the items, so make sure to look through her wares to see if you want some cool minions or glamours that you don't already have. With this, you can see why it's monumental on your journey to be doing this every week, day, and years to come, since you are killing three birds or more with one stone. You are already doing these dungeons and duty roulettes anyway so you might as well collect this every week and finish it without fail i hope you got some value out of this video if you did then limit break through that subscribe button down below if you want to watch more final fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here